To understand the full nature of the universe, we not only need to look at it in visible light, but also in all the other wavelengths from the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, it's just like listening to an orchestra, where you can hear perhaps just the strings. You won't get a full feel for the music until you tune into all the instruments. So with studying the night sky, we not only need to look in visible light, such as you would with these telescopes. Now, these are fairly amateur or typical amateur telescopes. For example, we've got a refracting telescope here, which has got a lens at the top end, where light falls through the lens down the tube to where you would observe, and the other rather more usual telescope you tend to find, the reflecting telescope, which has got a mirror at the far end, light falls down the tube, bounces all the way back up the tube again, and then out the side, which is where the astronomer looks. And with these, you'll get some stunning views of the night sky. But the problem is our atmosphere. Now, our atmosphere is crucial to life on Earth, of course, but for astronomers, it's actually a little bit awkward because it distorts the image. So if we want to get perfectly clear pictures of the universe we need to get above the atmosphere. Now we've not quite gone high enough to get above the atmosphere but we have just come a few feet up in the lecture theatre so we can see the image on the screen behind me. Now it shows the Great Orion Nebula which is a stunning area where stars are forming. You can see it with the naked eye in the constellation not surprisingly of Orion. Amateur telescopes will also reveal it in quite an amazing level of detail. Now it's a huge vast glowing cloud of gas and dust which deep inside the, the uh, nebula stars have formed. Gravity has pulled the material together very slowly over millions of years and the pressures have become so intense that stars have started to form. And you can see those as the trapezium cluster through even small telescopes. But of course get above the atmosphere and point the Hubble Space Telescope at the nebula and you can see a stunning level of detail on this object. But of course that's not the end of the story. NASA are launching the James Webb Telescope later this year and it is expected to give us an unprecedented view of the universe because it's going to be looking in slightly different wavelengths to the Hubble but we are expecting some really great images to come back to us.